Richard, this should be an interesting game. Both teams boast a lot of depth and could try out some very creative lineups tonight. Yeah, and it's whatever it takes to break the other team. It's about playing chess out there, and so there's going to be a lot of different moves. I can't wait to see what the coaches pull out. Yeah, the adjustment's a fascinating part of the NBA. And the starting group for the Grizzlies. They've got Ivica Zubats. Mitchell is out there with John Moran. Then it's Aaron Gordon and Tachimura in at the three spot. In terms of entertainment factor, can any current player top John ja Morant? I mean, ja we've Morant. seen Ja with some Two. vicious in-game throw down. Right. Two shots. That's good from Morant. Hey, Greg, talking about the great John ja Morant, this guy is just flat out fun to watch. Well, Ja's been known to go off for 50 on any given night but he also looks for others dropping some nasty dimes moran has an insane combination of athleticism and skill this guy can do anything one word you always hear the grizzly players mention is chemistry yeah you can't fake chemistry and it's true when you ask these guys what makes their team special they point out what a tight-knit group they are some people might not think chemistry is a big deal but it is huge when it comes to this league and one thing is if you look on paper it could feel like there's chemistry but as you know sometimes it doesn't translate to the real world no it does not translate and then after that if you don't have chemistry you better have professionals Here's Simons, following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Simons against Morant. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Morant. Miami Bring in on D. Morant with the swat. over a minute gone here in the first quarter and he's able to get it back gets it to go that one good from autobio and they can breathe a little easier on their fourth shot they finally hit the target here's mitchell and that one is good from zubats yeah coach's pet peeve there no box out Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Hayward catch the bullet. Yep, that one goes in there. Grizzlies have gone two or three here to start off the game. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with Eric Spolstra. Thanks, Kevin. Looking at these matchups, he thinks they can pound the ball inside with success. He wants them to get points in the paint early, force the defense to collapse, and then play inside out. We'll see if the opponent sticks to that game plan as well, guys. Thank you, David. Outside, Gordon. He's looking for Mitchell and finds him. No good off the back of the rim. Last outing for Memphis, they won that game against the Mavericks. And Simons has it in the corner. Hayward outside from deep. They get it again. The second chance effort. And Adebayo with a nice bucket inside. Second chance points kill you. It's a strength of Adebayo picking up the garbage and putting it in. Now here's Morant. Averaging 28 points a game, and it's not an easy feat for what this man does on the offensive end. A word against Hachimura. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And last season, Bam Adebayo said it was disrespectful that he wasn't named a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. What do you think? Well, Kevin, no arguing here. He's definitely an elite defender. Second team all defense, three years running. Great toughness and versatility. As he goes to the free throw line, my call would sound like this. Now at the line, Jalen Brown. One. Free throw good, out of bio. And of course, one of the league's longest tenured coaches, GA, is Eric Spolster. 
and he's having a Hall of Fame level career. And you look at the ground he broke when he was first hired. Not only young, Spo was the first Asian American head coach in any of the four major North American sports league and worked his way up from video coordinator. A shot by Hayward, wide open, drills the three-pointer. And that's a nice decision on Hayward's part. Good timing on the pass. He doesn't want to waste an opportunity to bury the jumper. Here's Morant. And Morant throws it down. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, GA. He really does put pressure on him. Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. So it's Miami now, following the score by Memphis. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Passes it to Zubats. Back to Gordon. Zubats a screen on Bucevic. Gordon the pass to Hachimura. Here's Zubats. Green by Zubats. Moran finds Zubats. He doesn't hit that one. Last game for the Heat, they picked up the win against the Utah Jazz. And here's Bullock from the arc. And the Heat, another three. Oh, great ball movement there. Moran's against Simon. And there's the pass to Mitchell. Fires from 14. Here's Gordon, and he banks in the lane. And offensive rebounding, really about timing and positioning there. Gordon using both to burn the deep. And Simon's wide open. He'll fight. And again, Miami with the triple. Their third three-pointer in a row. For three, Mitchell. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Now, here's Bullock, covered by Mitchell. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. Autobio's got nine. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. So, timeout call here. The first for Memphis. You know, as the regular season, Greg, winds down, you can feel things start to change around the league, can't you? Yeah, I mean, some teams are getting totally in the zone for the playoffs, while other squads are using this time to plan for next year and try to figure out what went wrong. checked in for Vucevic. McDaniels comes in for Gordon Hayward. Robinson's checked in for Reggie Bullock. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Anferni Simons. Memphis also making some changes. Whiteside's checked in for Zubox. McDermott comes in for Hachimura. And it's Kennard in for Mitchell. Here's Kennard. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. And the basket by Gordon. And, and he really has a nice inside-out game. And, and Gordon can score down low even in the face of tight defense. Now, here's none. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And oh, 
Boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. They get Hassan Whiteside. One thing you have to admire about the Grizzlies is their high level of effort. These guys play with such determination on every single play. Even their superstars like Morant. free throw is good. The effort level of the Grizzlies, RJ, can be an equalizer against some teams. Yes, the talent and experience can only take you so far, but Memphis, these boys will outwork you, and in some ways, it's not fair because their energy at times just seems unmatchable. Both shots good from the strike. Now, he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. The Grizzlies trail by nine. Morant scanning the floor. Over none. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. Just taking what the defense gives. And Morant keeping it simple on offense. I love it. Gafford passes to Robinson. And it goes down two points. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Rant, no good on the shot a bit long that time. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Robinson for three, and again, Miami with the triple. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Morant outside. Whiteside sets the pick for Morant. Nick Dermott for three. And it's Miami with the rebound. They traveled to Memphis last time they faced the Grizzlies and came away with a win. And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Yeah, the reserves add another dimension to their offense, and the opposition had no answers on how to slow them down. None against Morant. The 10-footer. And Adebayo sends it back. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. He lead by 12. 2K Sports back in a moment here at FTX Arena. to Noche Latina. Becoming an annual tradition is always here on 2K Sports and always exciting. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Miami. Miami leading by 12. So on the floor to begin things for Memphis here in the second quarter. They've got Mitchell, Aaron Gordon out there with Ivica Zubac. Then it's Ricky Rubio. And it's Hachimura in at the three. Greg, when you watch and Bernie Simons play, you can see the burst he has on the ball. And that goes for him attacking the rim and rising up for a shot. Impossible to stay in front of him with that quick first step. And with his skill and athleticism, boy, the sky's the limit. Here's Simons. Rui Hachimura picking up that last basket. Simons kicks to Bullock. He dishes it to Hayward. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. Hayward's got the lead up to 14 now for the Heat. And how about Hayward mixing it up inside there? Shows he can score on either side of the three-point line and, and really makes him more difficult to guard. Now here is Hetchimer off target with the jump hook. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Now Simon. He picked up 15 points in the last one against Utah. Putting others before himself, racking up assists. Hey, I wish I played with more guys like him. 
I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. To the wing right side. Hachimura with a screen on Simon. Back to Hachimura. Misses off the right eye. Even though he had space, there is never an easy fadeaway. Bullock passes to Simon. Shoots over Hachimura. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate. It didn't torch them with that mistake. Out of nowhere, Gordon just soaring in there. And that athleticism carries him straight to the hoop. Here is Hayward following the score by Aaron Gordon. And it's Vucevic missing. Pass to Gordon. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Now, here's Mitchell. Defense right on him. And the basket by Rubio. And how about the awareness of Mitchell? That, that's what stands out to me. He, he has a decision to make and does it with terrific timing. Now, here's Simon. He's got five. Hayward on the wing. He's covered by Hachimura. Hayward dishes to Vucevic. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Vucevic has got his first bucket in this one. A high IQ player. Vucevic has that sixth sense for when to cut after screening for a teammate. Craig, an outstanding score. Donovan Mitchell takes it to another level in the playoff, doesn't he? And Kevin, how about all of his averages go up come playoff time? Spider is a guy who wants the limelight and, like other stars, takes on more of a load in the postseason. And the first one at the line is good. And you hear the term point forward. But then, Greg, you had Magic Johnson. 6'9", but still a point guard. So what's the difference? Uh, well, when you talk about a point forward, it's someone whose versatility extends to their playmaking. Magic is the rare talent who redefined the point guard position. And Mitchell drops them both. Here's Simons. He isn't playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. Hayward is screen on Rubio. Simons kicks to Hayward. Offline with his three. Well, despite some uneven shooting from him, they're still out in front. Out of bounds, Miami takes possession. And a quick look now at how the Memphis Grizzlies schedule is shaping up. On Friday... They'll face off against Ben Simmons and the San Antonio Spurs. And then on Saturday, they'll take on Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And for that matchup with the Mavericks, this is a game that they are expected to win. But sometimes those are the kind of games where you get a little bit sloppy and start looking ahead. Either way, they'll need to put in tremendous effort to walk away with the victory. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much. Now, you may not know this, but Gordon Hayward was a two-time Indiana State singles champion in tennis. He says, in high school, I was better at tennis than basketball, but I've always loved hoops more. Thankfully, I was able to grow throughout high school to get to the frame I have now. He has certainly filled out in the NBA. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, he sure has. He's been a terrific player to watch and follow. The injury is significant, but he continues on. David, thanks. And there it is for him. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Mitchell outside. Again, Mitchell missing. And here's Cousins. He'll bring it up for the Heat. They've led by as many as 14 points. Simons finds Hayward. Cousins with a screen on Mitchell. Rocket six. And the rejection by Zubats. Mitchell up top. Covered by Simons.
Hayward outside. To the left wing. A wide open look here for Vucevic. A three-pointer, no good. The Grizzlies trail by 11. Pass to Mitchell. Now Zubox. He's looking for Mitchell and finds him. And good that time. Mitchell's got his third basket of the night right there. One of the more powerful young guards in our game. Mitchell loves to attack the heart of the defense. Simons, the pass to Hayward. Vucevic is screen on Mitchell. Passes it to Vucevic. They get it back. Launches it. That's his fourth miss from the floor. He's made two of his shots. And a wide open look for Hachimura. No good that time. Well, he'd go the other way with it. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. For a number of reasons, depth seems to become more important every year. Now here is Hachimura. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Mavericks in Dallas. Gordon trying to break loose. And yes, it's good. Mitchell's got 11. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Simons kicks to Bullock. Dish now to Hayward. Vucevic is screen on Hachimura. Here's Hayward. Offline with the baseline jumper. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you've got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. Chalk up two there. Mitchell's got 11 here in this quarter alone. And the coaching staff loves this. Mitchell being assertive on offense and just imposing his will. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Simon from outside. Rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's got his fifth rebound in this one. Zubats a screen on Simon. And when he's hitting from deep, Mitchell's practically unguardable. Can't crowd him out there. He'll just drive right around him. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Heat leading by just two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Gordon. How important was it to come out strong in the first half? Extremely important, uh, especially against a team like this. Uh, we got to be, be solid on defense all game. No transition buckets. So the start of the third is going to be huge. That's where a lot of games are won. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Welcome, folks. EJ alongside Shaq and Kenny. First up, here are the players of the week. The selection for the Western Conference, Nikola Jokic. For the Joker, last laugh is typically on the opponent. No one has been able to slow him down lately. Also, on and off the court, his leadership has been great for this team. Circling back to our featured game, the Miami Heat find themselves in a pretty even matchup. Man, their fans are loving this one. As a player, man, you can feed off that positive crowd. It can help you build momentum, you know? It just gets your blood flowing, and it's right tonight. We'll see if they can carry that energy into the second half, both the fans and the team. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. It's been one outstanding game from Donovan Mitchell. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. Vucevic is out there with Adebayo. Then there's Reggie Bullock, and it's Hayward, and it's Simons in the point guard. That's the group on the floor for Miami. 
Now, here's Mitchell. And, and ball handlers like Mitchell really elevate your offense. It's his precision passing to pass the basketball at the right time. Really a terrific ability. On the wing, Mitchell. For the tie, good. He hits the jump shot. Mitchell. Mitchell's got it all tied up now for Memphis. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. But it ain't broke. Leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. Now here's Hayward. Five points in the game. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Hayward's got seven points. And the accuracy of Hayward's shooting really opens up the floor, making that mid-range look easy. To the paint. Here's Gordon. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And after spending his first seven years in Orlando, Aaron Gordon traded in 2021, going from the Magic, a team out of the playoffs, to a team chasing a title. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. So the wing on the left. Memphis moving it around. Now the pass to Gordon. Morant outside. On deep. Miami grabs the miss. Vucevic has got five rebounds tonight. And with Aaron Gordon leaving Orlando, Greg, how'd you think that deal worked out for him? Kevin, I think the change of scenery was great for Gordon. Taking on more of a complimentary role and, and getting more big game experience. Bucket is good. Now it's a six-point heat lead. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And that one's good. Morant. As Ja gets more consistent from range, he becomes that much more dynamic. And that, let me just tell you, that's going to be bad news for the rest of this league. And here is Simon. Following Ja Morant's three. Simon's the pass to Autobahn. And another basket for Miami. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. The Grizzlies trail by five. Pass to Zubat. Mitchell in the corner. Sends it back. And a menace defensively out of bounds with the SWAT. He, he's an all defensive team member for a reason. Simons kicks the bullet. Vucevic has screen on Mitchell. In the corner, it's Hayward. Traps in the tray. Hayward's got five points in the quarter. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. And then Morant slams it in. And man, does Morant put on a show. He's got such insane athleticism. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Gafford's checked in for Vucevic. McDaniels comes in for Gordon Hayward. Robinson's checked in for Reggie Bullock. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Anthony Simons. 
So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Whiteside's checked in for Zubox. Doug McDermott comes in for Gordon. Kennard, he's checked in for Rui Hachimura. And Booknight comes in for Mitchell. Miami leading by six. Done with it. And here's Adebayo. Pass to Gafford. Gafford sets the pick for nine. No good on the three. And Whiteside's got the ball here for Memphis. They're off to San Antonio after this game, bringing their show to the AT&T Center. Over the third game of this three-game road trip. Whiteside a screen on Robinson. Book night with the bucket. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Morant's against none. Pass to Autobio. And Autobio throws it down hard. And contact can't slow Autobio down. He's not afraid to get physical when he's attacking. And the foul on Daniel Gaffer. That's his first foul. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Pass to Booknight. And Booknight slams it in. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now, here's none. Morant with some nice D. Hey, Richard, as soon as your playing career ended, you got right into this business, into broadcasting. When did you decide that oh, with authority. that is a monster finish? Oh. He'll put you on your heels in a hurry. Moran slicing through the D. Pass to McDaniels. Puts up a three. Good on the triple. McDaniels got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Here's Book Knight. And Adebayo sends it back. None looking around. Gafford finds Adebayo. Back to Gafford. Pass to McDaniels. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Just five to shoot. Here's none. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And it's a six-point heat lead. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's, it's been a while. Right side against Robinson. Now, here's Adebayo. He's covered closely. The Grizzlies trail by six. Morant outside. This is it to book night. The shot from the low post is good. Book night's got his third bucket of the night. Sometimes the pick doesn't even have to be perfect. It can just be a pick. He just needs to create a sliver of space. Adebayo with a screen on Morant. None can't get it to fall. He just looks off this quarter. It looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Morant outside. Whiteside sets the pick for Morant. Dishes it to Whiteside. Count that bucket. Morant's got great understanding of the game. He can move like very few can in that pick and roll set. Adebayo against Whiteside. Adebayo kicks to none. Adebayo with the screen on Morant. Again, the miss by the Heat. Teardrop shot. Count it. Morant's got the game tied up here for the Grizzlies. That's the end of the third, and it's all tied up. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. 58. The Grizzlies. 58. And 
while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with his speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. So on the floor for Memphis, we've got Morant, Aaron Gordon out there with Rui Hachimura. Then there's Whiteside, and it's Mitchell in at the two. Hachimura setting the pick for Morant. And then Hachimura with the jam. And that's impressive mobility there. Hachimura is tough to stay with given how quick he rolls in these sets. There's the pass to McDaniels. Inside. And Whiteside sends it back. Mitchell looking it over. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Bullock passes to Simons. McDaniels with the ball. On the three off target. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Hachimura. Good. And the nice Ooh. assist from Morant. Morant's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. The Heat trail by four. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. Trains the three pointer. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Gordon up on top. Covered by Gaffer. Here's Mitchell. Rebound by the Heat. They get to take on the Bulls at Chicago after this one. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Adebayo from 12 feet out and the rebound goes to the Grizzlies Whiteside's got six rebounds now in the game Mitchell right side Hachimura setting the pick for Mitchell Again, Memphis. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. And the Heat call time here. Vucevic checked in for Miami. Hayward comes in for McDaniel. And Memphis also making a switch. Zubats has checked in. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Eric Spolster address the team. He said, if we're going to pull this out, we have to do it as a team. We have to rely on one another, trust one another, and help one another. Let's go get this. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thanks. Simons, the pass to Hayward. Back to Simons. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Hayward's got six assists now in the game. 
And your clutch play there. No reason to risk the jumper when you can get to the rack. Reading the defense, sensing the open. He does not hesitate. Gordon with the screen for Mitchell. The shot missing. Now the Heat take it the other way. Pass to Autobio. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. And the Heat lead by one. And his ability to officially score, that really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. Zubac finds Mitchell. He takes it. Oh, wow! That is powerful. Zubac. A dynamic leaper with an impressive wingspan. Mitchell usually has some flashy dunks up his sleeve. Hayward against Hachimura. Hayward passes to Simon. And again, Miami with the triple. And it really exemplifies who Hayward is. A team player, someone who enjoys spotting his open teammate. And then Moran slams it in. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatics. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. And it's Morant missing. Miami's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Bullet kicks to Simons. Back to Bullock. He dishes it to Hayward. Simons with the screen for Hayward. Vucevic off target from outside. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Grizzlies. A two-point game. It's Autobio with the rebound. Well, some kids you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I go back to him in that area on the floor. Here's Simon. Got a hand on it. And that's a welcome sign for sure. Hachimura demonstrating a willingness to want to improve as a defender. And it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain possession here. Whiteside's checked in for Zubas. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Grizzlies timeout. Mitchell right side. And that one, good. Mitchell's got 24 points. 
and I think Mitchell's focus increases when it's clutch time. The, the bigger the moment, the better he is. Here's Vucevic, and the layup's good off the glass. And the Heat lead by two. Look at that shot. Vucevic not afraid to carry the weight, so to speak, and in a tough situation. The team knows they can rely on him. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. And that sends Donovan Mitchell to the free throw line. That one on Vucevic. One. gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Bullock passes to Hayward. Yes it is for that is a bucket. Number 5 on a 5 for 11 night. Driving under the bright light. You can see Hayward wanted the ball playing like the max player he is. Now here's Mitchell. He's guarded by Bullock. Shoots from 14. Shots good by Mitchell. Mitchell's got it all tied up now for the Grizzlies. And that's Mitchell at his best. Playing the quarterback on this offense and leading the lead, grabbing for air. And it's Memphis on the break, moving it up. And the dunk by Hachimura. One thing you can say about Hachimura, he is not afraid of the challenge. Simons, the pass to Vucevic. Good work there as it goes. Vucevic has got six in the quarter. Because of that refined offensive skill set, Vucevic can be a dependable scoring option late in game. Mitchell kicks to Hachimura. Outside Gordon. Mitchell a screen on Vucevic. Six to shoot. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Mitchell. Oh, I see. Picking the worst time to lose control. This is why patience is the key in big moments, people. 55 seconds left to play in the final quarter. To the inside. Here's Vucevic. No, I wouldn't test Gordon. With that vertical and length, please try someone else. Morant outside. Mitchell passes to Gordon. And it's Gordon with the finish. Well, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Timeout called the Heat. They're behind by two. 29 seconds left in the game. called the Heat. They're down by two. 29 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here we go, man. Make some noise. 
against Simon. He feeds it to Vucevic. Over Gordon. And it's Vucevic missing. And they commit an intentional foul. You see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. That's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Timeout called. The Grizzlies. They're up by two. There's 18 seconds left to play here in the fourth. for the Memphis Grizzlies. The lead is two. at a three-point lead. And Mitchell is not someone you want to foul in these spots. This is one guy who will make you pay. And so both free throws are good. And it's a four-point ball game. Gets them to fall, and those are huge free throws. It's now a two-possession game. Miami no good on that time either. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Fourth personal foul. Team foul number four. At the line for the Grizzlies, Hassan Whiteside. Two. Two 
Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. You've got to figure those are the free throws that officially put this game out of reach. And here's Bullock from the arc. That one doesn't drop. So it's Memphis picking up the win.